Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And this is an energy of somebody really being exposed. I am seeing you finding out some sort of truth about someone. You're finally seeing someone's true colors. Um, some Something that someone was keeping from you or something that they were just hiding. Um, it is bring, being brought to the surface and it's you're witnessing this. You're... you're, the, you're um, this person is being revealed to you. So I am seeing you getting some sort of truth, clarity and answers in a situation. And you're finding out some stuff about your person that you never knew before. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next we have... The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally, we have the Three of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So what I am seeing here is that there is a sense here that you are really knowing your worth with that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're really valuing yourself. I do see you having found out something about someone. It's almost as if someone was, you know, being caught, being sneaky, um, someone was really exposed and um, I do see you um, really choosing yourself in this situation, choosing self-love and self-respect and this person still has that respect for you. Um, regardless of whatever this is that you find out about this person, I do still see this person looking at you as someone who is an ideal partner in their eyes, someone who they really want to be in connection with, someone who they hold in high regard someone who is worth fighting for and um, I do see them really valuing you and I do see however there is a sense of you taking a break from your relationship with this ace of pentacles this is you focusing on other um, other goals you may be focusing on your career your work um, your personal goals there is a sense of you really bearing yourself in work and also prioritizing friendships and um, connections with family so i do see you are very um supported with the three of cups there's loved ones here who are who have your back they really support you and they're looking out for you and they care about you and i do see you thriving um you know regardless of what this news is that you're finding out because i am seeing that this is news that is um quite surprising to you and it causes you to want to take some sort of break from this person and i do still see you enjoying yourself with that three of cups living your best life and i also see you achieving some sort of goal um, in the practical sense so this could be in your career or a personal development goal or just some sort of um material goal i see you thriving and achieving it and you being really um recognized and celebrated by your friends and loved ones okay so you are showing up as choosing self-love and um you know prioritizing your self-respect and having a lot of dignity as well so let's clarify these cards sagittarius
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. And this is a very positive energy. I'm seeing a new beginning in love. Um, and I am seeing here that whatever this break that you're taking here, focusing on yourself and your own personal priorities, I do see it as um, a break that isn't necessarily going to lead to the demise of this relationship. Instead, I do see it leading to a new beginning in this connection, a new um, beginning with love and um, a lot of um, emotional um, openness, emotional expression, vulnerability. And with that seven of swords, I do see this person ready to be vulnerable with you. There is a sense of them no longer being able to hide anything. Um, and they do have love for you with this ace of cups. They do genuinely feel a heartfelt and sincere connection. But I do see that with that seven of swords, there, there may have been some things that this person kept to themselves. Um, this could have even been keeping their feelings to themselves. But I do see that it's really them being exposed is actually helping the connection um, to become more um, more genuine. Um, you know, people are being more vulnerable here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Judgment card. So this is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Next, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. And finally, we have the Seven of Swords in the upright this time. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so I do see with that Hermit card, this is taking some time um, apart, uh, taking a break, taking time for yourself, and really doing a lot of inner work, introspecting, and even with this Judgment card, I see you really looking within and facing yourself and trying to get a better perspective on self and um, also starting to really understand yourself and who you are at the core and um, I, I do see this leading you to having a better understanding of the connection as well and the role you play in it so th there is a sense of you and this person um, there will be a coming back together but I do see a break on the horizon and I do see you thriving in the material in, in the material realm um, during this time as well so this person they still celebrate you I do see that they are proud of you and your achievements they do still care for you they have love for you but um, and I do see that something that this person was doing secretively is being exposed and um, this is really helping you to see their true colors you're seeing them in a new light is what i'm seeing and with that judgment card there is a sense of you having the deciding power in the situation so if you are open to um you know revisiting this um connection after you go into this hermit mode because i do see you taking a break from this connection and really maturing and doing a lot of introspection um and you having the um the deciding power here so it's a judgment call that you would have to make and i do i do see that you won't make this decision without first um doing some introspection and reflection so this is a very um intuitive heartfelt and sincere decision that you are making i do see you analyzing it from many different perspectives and with the seven of swords showing up here in the um in the upright i'm seeing that you will be more strategic this time around in terms of how you deal with this person and the situation so i do see um there is a very strategic energy you're um operating very logically as well because we do also have that Hermit and that Seven of Swords. So I do see um, you getting a lot of wisdom and also operating very much from that place of wisdom and being very calculating, strategic about how you go about this connection because I do see a new beginning, but it's almost like you're more cautious this second time around. You're, um, you're, you're more um, careful with how you give your heart to someone and you really do know your value as well and your worth with that queen of pentacles okay so sagittarius i am going to pull out an oracle card for you So the card says, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. 
okay so i do see this as you really assessing things looking at things from you know a very enlightened perspective having some hindsight before making a decision and really evaluating things i i do see a lot of wisdom as well there is it's almost like you're coming from a place of higher knowledge you are using um you know both practicality and spirituality to help you to help inform your decision because i do see you finding out something about this person that really will start to make you see them you know in a different light or see them you know in a more um realistic light um in a way that's not um from the lens of infatuation but seeing who they really are seeing their true colors um and i do see this you know resulting in you having to really assess the whole situation from that bigger picture perspective okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you sagittarius Okay, so the card says dangerous pleasure the secret of reaping the greatness the greatest fruitful fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously okay so i do see there i do see with this energy here of having to look at the bigger picture and this dangerous pleasure energy um there may be um a point where you may have to go with what your heart is telling you um, there is this optimistic energy um, the, there is something about this person um, you there is a it's requiring you to really have some sort of open mind because I do see you seeing you know the core of this person but still having love for them um, seeing this person's true colors and seeing them in their entirety entirety and still having this ace of cups this new beginning in love with them so i do still see that the seven of cups is also still showing up here so it's almost like you're moving very strategically and carefully in this situation the second time around um because you may still fear that um there is some things about this person that you cannot trust or you you're still feeling a bit unsure it's almost like you're in dangerous territory with this person but you are still um, continuing, just continuing strategically and more carefully. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.